USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. On the heels of a North Korean missile test early Thursday morning, Iran has now reportedly test-fired a medium-range ballistic missile, and it traveled over 600 miles, according to one report. The U.S. official that confirmed that report to CNN says it wouldn't pose any threat to any shipping or U.S. bases in the region. Meanwhile, President Trump is asked about that recent North Korean missile test. He says, well, it's a smaller missile test than it had been conducting in the past. But I think with North Korea, we've been doing very well. But that doesn't mean it's going to continue. We have a relationship. President Obama had no relationship. You would have been at war. Had Hillary Clinton won this election, you'd be at war right now with North Korea. The president speaking on Hannity on Fox. The Justice Department wants to reinstate the death penalty after nearly two decades. And this is USA Radio News. Legislatively, we're a step closer to not having to worry about another government shutdown anytime soon, as we hear from USA Radio's Robin Walensky. On Capitol Hill, the House approves a budget and debt limit deal before lawmakers go out on vacation. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. The measure lasts through 2021, which means after the next general election. The vote, 284 to 149, all but 16 Democrats voted for it, 132 Republicans voting against it, even though President Trump supported it. And that bill now heads to the Senate. Immigration officials say a record 61,000 unaccompanied migrant kids have crossed the southern border since just last October. That's 2,000 more than the previous record set during the entire 2016 fiscal year. President Trump is scheduled to sign the 9-11 First Responders Compensation Fund Bill later today at the White House. And you're listening to USA Radio News. For the first time, there is at least one woman on every S&P 500 company's board of directors. Online auction website Copart, naming Diane Moorfield as one of its directors earlier this week, it was the last of the nation's top 500 companies to have an all-male board. It became the last one when TripAdvisor appointed two women to its board in March. S&P Global Market Intelligence claiming that 56% of the firms on the index have at least three female directors, a 19% increase from three years ago. A University of Mississippi fraternity suspending three of its students who posed with weapons in front of a memorial sign to Emmett Till that had bullet holes in it, the sign marking the spot where Till's body was recovered in 1955. The 14-year-old Chicago boy was visiting family in Mississippi when a gang of white men abducted, tortured, and ultimately murdered him. One of the men in the photo is holding a shotgun, a second holding an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle, and it appears the third is not holding a weapon. And President Trump is blasting Sweden after officers there decided to press assault charges against rapper ASAP Rocky. He's already been held in the Swedish jail for three weeks after being involved in a confrontation in Stockholm. Trump tweeting, the U.S. does so much for Sweden, but it doesn't seem to work the other way around. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes.